Hi Broom Bright readers, it's Amira from Amira's Book Reviews and I am so glad to have the opportunity to say hi to you guys, introduce myself and my channel. On YouTube I do book reviews and book discussions, book tags, and all book related videos and I love my channel and I am just so glad to be able to talk about books with you guys. In this video I'm going to be answering three questions for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this and the first question is what is my favorite thing about my channel and I'll have to say I love doing book discussions and um, book reviews and I've been in a little bit of a reading slump lately so I haven't been putting those up recently but um, I love doing them because when I read a book and I share my opinion about it and what I think about it, I love hearing feedback and I love hearing what you guys think about it as well. And if it's a book that I was really like obsessed with, I love just gushing about it and the characters and the plot and just talking about how much I enjoyed it and how cool it was and just having the opportunity to talk to you guys and hear what you guys liked about the book as well. It was really fun to interact with you guys and it's just really one of the coolest feelings in the world when you can just talk about something that you really love and have people love it too and give you a response. The second question is, is if I had the chance to have dinner with three literary characters, who would they be and why? I would love to have dinner with Augustus Waters from The Fall in Our Stars. I would love to have dinner with him because he's so funny and um, he's just such a charming person, so witty, and I would like to just meet him, and he seems, he's just so inspirational to me. And maybe if I got close enough to him, he'll take me to Amsterdam, because that city just looks amazing and I would love to go there. Another character that I would love to have dinner with is Tiny from Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I know these are two characters from, uh, like John Green books, but he has really good characters, and Tiny is so fun, so energetic, so crazy and interesting and loud and fun and I would just love to meet him. And the last character that I would love to have dinner with is A from the book Every Day by David Levithan and I would love to meet A because if you don't know about the book um, Every Day, A is a character not a girl or a guy, it's just a being who wakes up every day as a different person so if A like walked to my door, I wouldn't know what they would look like until I open up the door and I'd be maybe shocked or surprised and get to know him or her more and it'd just be interesting just to get to know someone even though it'd be kind of sad because you might not ever see them again. I actually have two more questions. I don't know why I said three. I have four. But the third question is, what is my favorite trend that's going on right now? Um, like dystopian, post-apocalyptic, fantasy. Um, so I read a lot of dystopian novels and I'm starting to get not sick of them because if it's a good book, it's a good book. But I've been trying to stay away from them. I'm actually reading a, a science fiction novel right now. I think it's either dystopian or science fiction. I'm not really sure. I kind of just want a new trend to come out, you know, something that's different. Um, I think mermaids is going to be a new trend soon. So. We'll see how that goes if I ever read a book about a mermaid. I'm not sure. Sounds kind of strange, but oh, they're in Harry Potter, so it could be awesome. You never know. The last question is, what authors inspire you most? Two of them were mentioned in this video already, John Green and David Levithan. Their writing is so um, just inspiring, interesting, and I just love their messages in their books. And even though their books can be kind of sad at times, um, I still enjoy reading them and that's just a really good sign when it's a good balance of maybe sadness and uplifting. JK Rowling also inspires me. Uh, I'm not sure if this is 100% true but I think I heard that she started off living in like her car or something and look where she is now. That's inspiring on its own. Like her books, hello, amazing, so interesting, so heartfelt and such a great world, amazing world that she has created and has affected so many different people across the entire world. Thank you so much for having me on this channel, Burn Bright Readers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys will like to see more of my videos, I guess you can go to my channel, 
which is Amira's Book Reviews, youtube.com slash Amira's Book Reviews. And I hope to see you soon. And thank you so much. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye.